the president without the help, without the help of Republicans is doing everything that he can to deal with the border. While our country suffers because of this administration's inaction, House Republicans have proposed a solution. The bill is passed without objection. A motion to reconsider is laid on the table. HR2 gives our agents and officers the resources they desperately need, closes loopholes in an abused asylum system, and protects innocent children from harm. We know the policies that worked, and right. House Republicans passed the strongest border security package in the history of Congress. Well, we passed the strongest immigration enforcement border security law in American history two months ago. It sits in the United States Senate. It's disturbing when House Republicans have already taken up legislation to secure the border, but Chuck Schumer and Democrats refuse to even acknowledge this crisis that we have. House Republicans have passed H.R. 2, which actually secures our border and is a complete reversal of what Joe Biden has done. Governor Abbott taking matters into his own hands, as he's had to do, deploying hundreds of Texas DPS troops and National Guard to the border. As far as I know, it's the first time in American history that a state has led the effort to prevent people from entering the United States illegally. This president has not done his job, and Governor Abbott asked for help to help address the crisis at the southern border, and I am proud that 13 Republican governors stood up to send troops and law enforcement to help Governor Abbott in securing the sovereignty of this great country. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin announcing he will be deploying 100 troops. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice said he will also be sending 50 soldiers. South Carolina is sending troops as well. One thing that we're doing as we speak uh, is to add more National Guard and DPS officers on the front lines of the border, as well as add more of those uh, razor wire uh, border walls and fences uh, to make sure that we're going to be able to prevent people from entering Texas illegally. Because the Biden administration refuses to hold the line, Republican governors have no choice but to band together, push back, and demand the answers, and that's exactly what we're doing. The Texas National Guard and the Texas Department of Public Safety are now repelling illegal immigrants who are trying to cross the border. We're going down to help Governor Abbott secure this border. Uh, that is the constitutional duty of the president, and he is not fulfilling his constitutional duty to protect this country and its citizens. I want to know who these 23 percent are that actually think Biden is doing a good job on the border. How can they possibly see what is happening in our country and say, yes, this is exactly what we were hoping for? It is a complete disaster, and it's one of their own making. We have a president who is an obstructionist to Texas who's trying to do our best to impede the flow of illegal immigrants by us building our own border wall, by us putting up these razor wire barriers and not allowing people to pass, by deploying the National Guard to make sure that we repel migrants who are trying to get into the country. And what do we have? We have Joe Biden interfering with my efforts to secure the actual border. I've never seen a president flout the laws of the United States as much as Joe Biden. And I've never seen someone like that obstruct a governor who actually is trying to limit illegal immigration into our country. If the president isn't going to do his job, then we're going to step up and we're going to take the lead and we're going to do what needs to be done until we can get a Republican president elected in 2024.